hello guys and welcome back what is this hey guys what's up it's reagan and welcome back to my channel so i am in my bathroom i really wanted to film this video for you guys because it's been on my mind probably like honestly since the start of the year but i have started to pick it it is a bi-weekly injection to help with my eczema and i wanted to share some products with you guys that i have been using that have really helped i guess make the process a little bit easier for me first um two loading doses for depixent was actually march the 6th so i have been on depixent for one two three four almost nine weeks you guys oh my god i feel like time has flown by okay so dupixent is a prescription medication and the first biological or biologic approved to treat people 12 years and older with moderate to severe atopic dermatitis or eczema that is not well controlled with prescription therapies used on the skin topical or who cannot use topical therapies um, there was a two 16 week clinical study with dupixent nearly half of adults adult patients saw 75 percent skin improvement and almost four times more adult patients saw clearer almost clear skin i was kind of just winging it when it came to my skin probably in 2015 i went on prednisone that didn't really work it cleared up my skin completely like full body eczema but as soon as i start tapering off of it it came back like worse than ever this is my last year of college and it was not not a good time for me at all my grades dropped um i i still was able to graduate within three years because i was just trying to speed up the process but um, i'm not really happy like how how i did in my classes but i just wanted to finish as fast as i could so i graduated in three years from university and after that my skin just literally kept declining so I had been to multiple dermatologists, they couldn't help me. They said that eczema is non-curable basically. Um, so I had been on allergy medication, topical steroids, you name it, all of the, all of the topical steroid creams. Um, I had tried foams, I tried light therapy, coal tar, which burns really bad. So yeah, there was pretty much nothing that helped my skin. I even paid thousands of dollars to for a naturopath when I was living in Louisiana, and she she helped me like feel a little bit more like myself. I did the whole elimination diet, which it did help. That was actually still in 2015 after I had gotten off prednisone because I was just so miserable. Um, and she put me on like probiotics, no gluten, no dairy, um, what else? Uh, she told me to take salt baths, which, which did give me some relief, but ultimately like nothing really cleared up my skin. I, I hadn't, I didn't have normal skin. I had rashes full body. Um, I was uncomfortable, itchy. I lost my self-confidence. I was honestly just miserable um but like over the last couple years since i moved to houston my skin did improve a little bit i continued to focus on my diet as much as i could um i ate clean but it would i would still get occasional flare-ups and then it just started to spread which leads me to this year when i finally saw an allergist and he told me about dupixent so now i am here and i am literally i would say like 85 percent clear just fast forward to the pixent when i first started it um april no march 6th within the first week my skin it was starting to clear up i my allergies told me to just continue to, to take an allergy pill to help with the itching because it even though I had started the pigs in, like my skin was still itchy, but that subsided and then my skin just literally started to shed full body, which I had, I, I'm familiar with my skin shedding because that happened when I completely stopped all steroids. 2014, 2015. But yeah, like I said, I was used to my skin peeling and I follow a group on Facebook, a depiction 
group of like thousands of other people that's on this medication and they said that the peeling is normal it's like every time I would shed um, like I'm still do shedding on my arms and my neck which is like the worst spots but still bearable compared to what it was before like I'm able to walk around I feel normal my skin I'm not like shivering or overheated but this is kind of what it does if you can see um, if it'll focus you can see like the hint of redness right here so this area it it'll peel and then shed and then there'll be new skin underneath same thing on my neck area which was the worst and but honestly guys like this is a thousand times better I would take this over my regular eczema any day um, same on my face like I have no makeup I just took a shower I have some redness like right here because like right before I started to pick it my my eczema was starting to come up on my face which I had never had it on my face before but yeah with the depiction it's still really red and dry I don't have anything on my face I just took a shower but I'm gonna moisturize and show you guys what I use but yeah this is literally though like still way better than it was before my skin was raw it was like purple it was so inflamed and thick and itchy but now I don't itch anymore which is amazing it's amazing I really didn't have any high hopes for this drug but it has honestly changed my life there are some side effects that people have side effects that affects everyone differently but I have not had any side effects thank thank the Lord the most common side effects are conjunctivitis or eye issues I actually wear contacts I have them in right now but I have not had any side effects but yeah enough on the rambling i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what products that i use to just help me on this journey and i hope that it helps someone else out there as well even if you have dry skin this video might help you out so let's get I only it. wash my face once a day i have been doing this probably the last year or so and i've seen a great difference and my skin it's not it doesn't feel like it's stripped down of any oils because I just feel like the only time I need to wash my face is if I have makeup on and I've been wearing like way less makeup than I was before because I had acne but since I've cleared up I don't really see a need to wear makeup like I still I wear makeup but it's more of a natural look but anyways I wash my face once a day um, but in the morning, I don't wash my face. I only use a clean towel and I wet it with warm water. So this is literally all that I do when I wake up in the morning for work and it just feels so good. It opens up your pores. I have a scratch, I scratched myself so I left the scar. My skin scars so easily. So yeah, go back a little bit. I'm just re-wetting my face because it's been like five or 10 minutes since I got out of the shower. But I usually moisturize my skin as soon as I get out of the shower. Um, I just like to go in with this. I just like to go in with this rose, rose hip seed oil from the Heritage store and I will do like two pumps. And I'm just gonna look into the viewfinder because this is like my mirror. And I get this from Urban Outfitters. It really helps with the redness and it moisturizes my skin. And I only use products that do not burn my skin because it's just not a good feeling. I also go over my lips too. So I would just press this into my face and my neck my neck is the most sensitive part of my body since taking Dupixent like I thought it would be my ankles my hands were also really bad but now they are like normal people hands they were swollen and red and like dry but now I have normal hands and it's amazing 
so yeah now I might still have a little bit of dryness but I'm gonna use a moisturizer now and I'm just gonna go in with the Kiehl's ultra facial cream it's a 24 hour I can't talk 24 hour daily lightweight hydrating formula for healthy looking skin with glacial glycoprotein to put this all over my face and my neck and this just feels so good moisturizing I'm all about moisture because my skin dry as fuck okay much better my skin's looking juicy and plump this is also a new item for me this is the fresh vitamin nectar vibrancy boosting face mask and this was super like hydrating it smells like oranges but it's just really chunky not me i don't want to get my face in this really thick and sticky i don't know it just feels really good on the skin but um i will put this on my face a couple times a week with a makeup brush and just apply it and then you just leave it on for i think it's 10 minutes yeah 10 minutes and leaves my skin feeling like healthy gives it a nice natural glow some dryness underneath my eyes and like mostly on my cheeks but um this just gives me added moisture So I will put it on my ring finger and just put it on my smile lines for some added moisture around my eyes. This is the Agave Lip Mask from Bite Beauty. I've been wanting to get this product for a while, but I think it's like $30. But I decided to just get it since starting to pick scent, like my skin was really dry. Um, but it's really, it's really, really hydrating, I have to say. It's supposed to be a lip mask that you can just put overnight. And when you wake up, your lips are still juicy. And I have to say, it does work really well. And I got the scent lavender. My husband uses all this stuff too. But he has big lips, so I thought this would be good for both of us. Look how juicy. And you can still see I have some redness from the Dupixin, but it's part of the healing process, you know? Love the brand Schmitz. This is probably my favorite natural deodorant. Um, it, I, it, I have it in the scent Rose and Vanilla. It helps neutralize odor and absorb wetness. That is the key thing that I look for in deodorant because I sweat enough as it is, like in my armpits, in my hands, in my feet. So I don't want a deodorant that's gonna have my armpits feeling like super moist or wet um, because over time that makes me itch as well. So this is probably my favorite deodorant, my favorite brand as well. There's no aluminum, no propylene glycol, and no artificial fragrance. I have also tried this brand um, from Sephora. This is La Vanilla. It's a sport luxe healthy deodorant solid stick no parabens no aluminum i do like this one as well it's like a light vanilla scent but i do get some wetness from this i guess like if it's like if i put it on before work i will start to get a little bit of wetness but um i'll just use this like at night and so that way when i wake up it's already absorbed into my skin if you're on dupix scent like me or if you just have sensitive dry skin um, I picked this up from Target. It's also by the brand Schmitz. It's the cedarwood and juniper plant-based body wash with organic argan oil and sea-based antioxidants and aminos. I was using Shea Moisture's body wash, which I also like, but I found that this is like, this actually keeps my skin moisturized even on Depixent because of the argan oil, but it's really good for sensitive skin. I don't feel like my skin feels stripped and I also feel like it kind of exfoliates my skin a little bit, like if I'm flaking a little bit. But this also has 
no SLS, no sulfates, no artificial fragrance or any dyes. And then just to complete my skincare routine, I will just use the Mario Badescu facial spray, cucumber, aloe cucumber and green tea. I also get this from Urban Outfitters, but you can get it anywhere. It smells good. And it just kind of gives my skin a boost of moisture if I'm at work. And you know, if you're like in dry, air, dry conditioning, air conditioning all day, your skin kind of feels tight after a while. This literally, it feels so good. It's like a boost of moisture and it's relaxing as well. Okay, and then the last skincare product that I will talk about if you're on Dupixin or if you have eczema is Vanna Cream. Vanna Cream is amazing. It's dermatologist tested. It does not have any dyes, fragrance, masking fragrance, lanolin, parabens, formaldehyde, which why does any lotion need to have these things at all? Um, but this is accepted by the National Eczema Association for, ex for eczema, for sensitive skin. And this is like the only lotion that hasn't burned my skin and it just leaves it feeling moisturized, quickly absorbed, which is why I love it. So as soon as I get out of the shower, I will just pump this on to my skin see how thick it is it's not like a water-based lotion where it literally absorbs and then your skin is back ashy again this actually hydrates my skin um, I've also used shade just regular shea butter from I purchased it from Walmart, but it's on Amazon, so I will just add the, the link to that if you guys want to see that. So I will also link the salt that I use down below as well as the shea butter. And I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I know I rambled on a lot. <laughs> I went over a lot of products. Yeah, that is the end of this video. Oh.